you might have data at different sampling rate and different timestamps and you are interested to combine them together and uh, do post processing on them or uh, to plot them in this video we will learn how to do that for example from a tensile test the displacement was recorded at time 0 1 2 3 and 4 seconds and uh, that means we have five samples and these are the value of the displacement taken at those timestamps whereas the force was recorded at six time points and these time points are different than the time for displacement so not only the sampling frequency are different between these and this data they are also recorded at uh, different time intervals this blue curve is the plot for this displacement versus time and this orange curve is the plot for force versus time so here we can see that uh, the time where these two data are sampled are quite different we are interested to combine them together and get a curve for force displacement like this for this purpose we will use this from MATLAB function interp1 which is a one-dimensional interpolation function for that we will take this force curve which is the force response at this time so time underscore f comma force and at the end we will interpolate these forces at the timestamp given for the displacement which is 0 1 2 3 and 4 second to get the force at uh, second 2 where we have a sample for displacement this interp1 function will linearly interpolate between these two points and uh, record a force response around 0 0.6 similarly at time 3 when we have this displacement it will also interpolate linearly between these and these two points and get a force uh, response around a little more than 0 0.8 newton as this uh, timestamp for displacement has only five samples after this interpolation this interpolated force or force underscore i will also have only five samples sampled at this time underscore d so that means we will be in a position to plot the force and displacement together at these five points of with the same timestamps that we have for the displacement for this interpolation if we want to use more than these two points because when we use these two points we have only a linear interpolation we can for example use cubic interpolation to do that we have to after this third entry in the interp1 function we have to mention cubic there are other options available for this interp1 function you can seek the help in uh, matlab documentation but uh, if we use cubic so for any given interpolation a cubic interpolation will use information of four points around the point you are interested to interpolate here is how using linear and cubic interpolation for these data will look 